Hey, how's it going guys? Just started moving stuff around the garage and figured it was a good time to post some videos. Uh, I just posted one of this 1965 XLCH Ironhead Sportster my last video, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. Pretty cool bike. Um, so I picked up this 76 Ironhead Sportster here. I got the engine in the garage. I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. But uh, it's one of those, you know, bike dent run, killer paint job on it. Um, figured it would, figured, you know, everything looked really nice, you know, <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, so I bought it, more or less just because I was, I really was digging the paint on it. And it was, it was a decent price. So, uh, and by the way, this is painted by a guy named Shane Six in Fairborn, Ohio. So maybe check him out here if you're local. It's got some cool pinstriping on it. And uh, Shane, if you see this, I don't personally know you, but cool bike, cool paint, and uh, there's a shout out. So maybe hook me up sometime. <laughs> so uh, tore the engine out of that and um, started looking at it. You know, just basic stuff. Adjust the valves. I got both intake valves open at the same time. Cams were timed wrong. Slop on the clutch hub. Pulled the transmission. Well, if I'm going to show you this, I guess you can see what I've done. So, I pulled the transmission out, and the whole inside of this case has just been blown out, welded. The main shaft wasn't fitting in. Uh, 23 roller bearings weren't fitting in. The main shaft itself was just scorched. Six of the 11 primary cover bolts to hold the cover on have all been repaired. I mean, it was just one thing after another. And I, I just got to thinking, man, I'm in this too far. You know, this is, this is going to be a lot of money to get this going. So I pulled out my big Sawzall and uh, I chopped the back half of the transmission off. And uh, it's one of the things where I, you know, the long day, probably out here 12, 15 hours messing around, go to sleep, wake up in the morning and think, did that really happen? And uh, yeah, it did. So, well, you got to run with it from there. So I cut the back half off. I started grinding, smoothing out the back of the cases. Um, you got to make sure you leave this here because this is your oil return. So, got a hole drilled through here, going into the rear plate there for the motor mount. I just got this mocked up on the jig for now, and uh, I'm about to wheel in the shovel head frame, mock it in there, start uh, tacking up motor mounts and everything. But it's one of these one of the things, you know, I knew it knew it could be done. I've seen never personally seen one, but seen a half dozen pictures over five years or so and I'd screenshotted them and you know, kept looking at it, kept looking at it. You know, I got a titled engine here with an aftermarket frame. So if the engine was crap, you know, I'm kinda stuck. So I hacked it off. Kind of nerve wracking. Like I said, the next morning I woke up thinking, "Oh man, this is this is going to be a big project. It's been a lot of grinding, a lot of sitting and staring, and uh, it's pretty cool." <laughs> Last night I, I finally set it on this stand, and you know, I've got an iron head engine sitting on my shovel head engine stand. That's pretty cool. So I'm excited to keep working on that. I got a Evo up here. I've been buttoning up, put a five speed transmission in it. Um, still got this 83 shovel head here. Pretty cool bike. I got the Iron Head Dragster 93 inch. I got some videos of this too. Uh, had my pops over and we fired it up for the first time. It's pretty cool. And then uh, I got the this bike I, I did over the winter. It's a 82 shovel head, the 75 paint tank on it. Put different fenders on it. Uh, cleaned it up, done a bunch to it. This one's going to be for sale here uh, after I get everything buttoned up and ready to go. So, got lots of parts. Uh, I'm still selling stuff on eBay, so if anybody needs anything, 
check me out at Frost Cycle Shack. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. And um, I even got t-shirts on there, so if anybody wants to help support me, a um, little business advertisement, pick up a t-shirt. They're pretty cool. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. So there you go. Lots of work to do. Thanks for watching.